Good. Snake man here, we're on to the next step of the exercise, which is candling the eggs. So, we have the cloth to clean the crap off of this surface. What I do, I hold the egg up, up to the light. I look in real close. This is not a candling unit, of course. I look in real close. And I see the veins. They should be radiating from the top. Which, in this case, they do. So that is, I'm now looking at the top of the egg, that's the north pole. So what I do is I clean the egg, clean the egg here, in fact I can even stick it under a tap, just clean the surface, okay. So I now have a clean egg, I now put it in the box, it's almost ready to be incubated. There's one next to it which is already there. As soon as the surface dries, which will be in a minute or so, I will then use my marking pen and write on it. Now we've got to do that to the other 11 eggs. So they should all, in theory, be pretty good. That one's perfect. So we can just like uh, do the same again. Voila. And we have a clean surface again. And we now have three ready eggs. Okay, we've got three eggs all ready to go. Okay, they're all back in business. We go to the next one. As you get the angle right, this one's a bit of a way. Oh no, there it is, North Pole again. Right, so we just do the same again. Right, nice and clean egg. Okay, there we go, another clean egg. Like yay. Okay, perfect. Now that goes there, that goes there, that goes there. Okay, if you can shine the camera straight down overhead, you can see we've got four eggs in a row all ready to incubate. Slightly indented. Now I'll rehydrate once it's sitting in the incubator looking good. Okay, next one. Candle it. Yep, it's uh, slightly rolled. You see how I had to twist it slightly? That egg would have hatched as was, but we're aiming for the 100%, so there it goes. Bang on target, okay, that's another one. Right, now, normally you would be waiting for them to completely uh, dry, but to give you an idea, bring the camera around and I'll show you what you do. You just simply write your number there on the egg, actually I'll wait till it dries because this is better for the eggs, you don't want this stuff going through. Here we go, next one, yeah that's all perfect, uh, that one's all good. I won't even bother cleaning that one. Okay, we'll just move that. As you can see, I'm not doing it in a good order, but you can see we now have two eggs ready to rock and roll. We'll do this one. And it is, oh look, looking hard. Got the vein on one side, double check that it's facing the right way. Orientation, pretty good to perfect. Okay, that one. Go here. Okay, that's fine. It's the third one done there in that row. Go to this one next. Okay, so we've got two rolls of four we're working on. Okay, this one's an interesting one. I don't see much happening in here. Yep, here we go. We're fine. Back on the north pole. Okay, and that one goes there. Perfect. Okay, we got eight that are sorted. Okay, double check that one. North pole here. Twist it very slight. Okay, that one's good. Okay, north pole. And the reason some of them are twisted, you might notice that when the eggs were laid, they were at different angles. Now this one we have a problem. We have a problem there, it's gone off on one end. However, looking around, we do in fact see veins. Right, okay. Now this one's an interesting one because it does appear to have gone off. We might have to deal with that one. It's antifungal, but we'll cross that one, this one here we'll deal with later. In fact, I'm going to put it in a spot where I know I've got an eye on it. So we'll put those three there for a minute. They're the only ones we haven't dealt with. That one can start another row here. So we've got 12 plus one. Right, okay, that's fine. This is the one we got the question on. Put that one there. Right, okay, so we've got three to go. Okay, now. Beautiful, right, here we go up. And we're back on the candle. Yep, perfect angle. Right, that one goes there. We have the next one, which is, yep, perfect. All good, that one can sit there. Last but not least, oh, this one's interesting, can't see anything. Yes, we can, it's been moved, right, okay, that's had a roll, okay. Put that one there. Okay, so this is one, okay, so. Off the North Pole, beautiful. Okay, so. Okay, look at that. We now have, shine the camera back to me, we now have 12 eggs, immaculate, all at the right orientation. 
one had rolled when it was laid. That one probably would not have hatched. We've reoriented, so it will hatch. This one here now, as you can see, for whatever reason, because it's been laid in the cage and I didn't get to it for a few days, uh, it's uh, started to go off. This part of the egg has gone off. We will now hit that with antifungicide, very uh, slight, because it does have a fertile young in there. May or may not hatch. We have had these before. Some hatch, some don't. Depends on a number of things. This one, the slug. Now, we shall throw that one out here. Watch. Into the bin. I missed. I missed the shot. Anyway, you don't want them around because they get fungus and it could spread to the good eggs. That's all for now.